Hi, I'm Diane and I'm so excited to have you with me on this new adventure as I launch the Body and Soul Project and the person who I am working on is actually me. And the reason I want to share this adventure with you is to help anybody who needs help with their body and their soul. And maybe you've been on this journey for a long time. Maybe you have tried everything. Perhaps you're going, going through a season in your life that's a different season than anything you'd experienced. Um, we're all like getting older, of course, every single day. I turned 50 recently and for me, I wanted to set 50 goals in my 50th year because one of them was I want to be the best me I can be. Why? Well, primarily for my kids, for my husband, my family, but also to see how um, I can find strategies and actually every single week find a new strategy to help you on your journey if this has become an area that you're like, I just do not know what to do. You've got all the information you need. Uh, you might even have time to work on it, but you, you're just stuck because of stress, because of um, relationships, because of all, you know, because of life, because life, life can be complicated. And I just want to really encourage you that um, I am going to be doing this personally. I'm going to be sharing every single week and, and I would love you to uh, tune in and, and, and let me know how I can help you. Maybe you've got a question or maybe you've got a suggestion because I feel as a, uh, as a community, a body and soul community, that we can help each other and become really healthy and enjoy life. You know, what is my goal? My goal is freedom. And I'm like, what does that actually mean? For me, it means um, being able to get into my wardrobe and just pick anything I want to wear. Right now, that is not an option. <laughs> my wardrobe has become smaller. Well, my clothes are all there, but my ability to actually choose anything and wear anything has become less. And I don't like that feeling. And I, I want to be able to feel good. I want to be able to run and do things that I enjoyed before. So interestingly enough, um, I've been on this journey for a really long time and my first book called Fat Free Forever. Hello. <laughs> um, you know, this came out in 1996 in Australia. It was a best-selling book and yes, there I am in a red swimsuit and yes, I had just had twins and good for me, I'm in my 20s, which is very different from when you are 50. And then I had a, another baby, uh, my little Bella, who's now 20. And so, of course, I refer to myself as the incredible expanding shrinking woman. Wrote another book called Back in Shape After Baby. Awesome. I was thinking those days were over. And then, um, wow, I'm nearly 40 years old and I find out we're having a surprise baby. She, by the way, is the best thing that ever happened to us, little London eternity. And so I'm like, am I ever going to do this again? I'm now, I'm, I'm 40. Um, do I have any hope of getting back in shape? Or do I just say, okay, I'm middle-aged. I've got wonderful, I've got a wonderful husband, wonderful kids. Why, why bother? And I realized I actually needed to bother because this little girl, my little baby, needs me to be able to run after her. She needs me to be able to run up and down the stairs and not play fetch, which is like, you know, fetch me something because I can't get up and down the stairs. So I did it. And here I am, body and soul. And I was 43 years old and back in shape. And I would have to say, I think I liked this shape better than any of the other shapes previously. So what's my goal now? Um, well, it's to get back in shape like that, to make sure I'm dealing with anything I need to do body, anything I need to do soul and definitely anything I need to do to de-stress because what's my real life look like now? Well, I've got you know, this stuff going on and sometimes it feels like a circus of stress and I want you to know it's okay. My kids, my 40th birthday was like amazing because, you know, I had a new baby and my kids were still at home and everything. My 50th was really different. And the good thing is I'm not midlife and having a crisis. I had all of those in my 20s. But I want to tell you, um, I want to share with you what I did on my 50th birthday because all I wanted to do was to be with my family. 
Um, and when you go through a lot of stuff, sometimes it's like, I just actually want those closest and most important to me. And so for my 50th, I gave my kids um, a present uh, each, one, two, three, four. So, so Ben, Bo, the twins, Bella, who's 20, um, and then my little girl, London, I didn't have her in this conversation because she's like much younger. She's like 10 years younger than the youngest. Um, but I, I gave the kids these beautiful stones and there's four of them. I gave them one each and each one of them are different and each one of them are for them. And I said, um, I want to give you these. <laughs> it was kind of awkward, but it was really special. and. I was trying not to cry and I ended up crying and then we went to lunch, which was always a good thing. But anyway, so these stones are um, a reminder of um, why this season is really important and not to neglect what's most important. And I promised my kids that mummy would find her freedom again and that I have these stones set on my bathroom bench and um, that every single day they would remind me that taking care of me is really important to them. So um, if you were looking for a motivational key today, I, I couldn't think of anything more important than if you're a mum, like think about your kids. So I wanna help you with all of that and uh, there's information in the link below or the bio or you know you social media people you know how to find your stuff but i want to let you know i am committed to this and i'm going to share with you every single week what's worked what hasn't worked and i i'm going to give you three keys every week body soul and a de-stress and hey we can do it together see you next week